Okay, I'm going to be making a, a martini, a dirty martini. It's not the dirty martini everybody knows about. It's just different dirty. But we are going to start with gin, and we're going to start with a really low-grade Booth's gin. So this was, um, I don't know, 16 bucks for this much. Okay, then. Which was, that's damn low-grade. Damn low-grade. I'm gonna get some ice first. So, excuse me. You can see some of the other recipes. They made VP in a cup, the Fromagini, and Lowell Canal. Lowell Canal. <clears throat> okay. So, I got lots of ice. And for this one, we're gonna take, um, and let me rinse this quickly. A, they haven't used gin yet in any of these. So, we're gonna use a full. What we're calling the three parts of gin. Lovely stuff. And we're going to stay a little more traditional on this one because what we're going to add is some vermouth, but not just any vermouth. This is a uh -huh. red vermouth. Sweet vermouth. So it's a little, it's got a little color in it. And We'll call one part of this. Where's my thing? Where did I put my thing? Thank you. Thank you, Dave. That's probably too much. That's probably just right. It's like probably I'm dry martini. A little color. Yes. Now. Other things will give it a little color too. Why is it dirty? Does it, does it call you names? It does, but um, you know how traditionally you put olives in. Yeah, the olive We're going to do that. We're mm -hmm. going to do that. But we're also putting a little something extra in, which are green ah, peppercorns. Excellent. So this gives it a little sharpness. That goes in along with olives, but not just any olives. These are olives stuffed with almonds. Mm. So we do have concerns about the affordability of this drink. We do. So uh, this is a is a, is this minor concern. No, of course I get the one that doesn't have an almond in it. So, and because we're making small ones, we're just going to put one in. Normally, we would put 12 or 13. And also the same same deal here. Use a small fork to get the uh, a few of the peppercorns out, and probably like you know four or five of these. There's one in there already. And you see, I'm putting a little juice in there, which is this is. This is the only kind of juice we're going to use for this dirty. So it's just a few drops. That's green peppercorn juice and more of a traditional style martini. So the, the gin, cheap gin, and the red vermouth. So basically, it's a Rob Roy kind of action. Well, Rob Roy would have more... Well, sort of a dirty Scotsman, really. Well... <laughs> Except a dirty Englishman, really, because it's dirty no Scotsman. Yeah, there's no such thing as a dirty Scotsman. Well, hell, they all are. But Rob Roy would have more uh, Scotch in it, but this is... Uh, as you can see, the color coloration is very mild. Indeed. And it has a nice, a nice look. Now, what I'm going to do for the very finish on this ah. is to grab a few sesame seeds. Now, these are... Far Eastern influence, but we just sprinkle a few of those right on the top. And it gives it a nice kind of dirty, uh, I don't know, something maybe you scooped up out of, uh, you know, some a rain barrel somewhere that's been sitting for weeks. There you go. And we're gonna, rain we're gonna, barrel. Yeah, we're going to try, try this out. Ignored rain barrel. That is quite fine. Surprisingly delicious. <clears throat> That's all I wanted to hear. And we're calling this a um, rain barrel. Rain barrel. Why not? That's, okay. Yes. Ignore forgotten rain barrel. <clears throat> forgotten rain barrel martini.